everybody, happy Sunday, welcome to my channel, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Information coming out, Donald Trump, US President, joined Telegram. As a lot of people are aware, he's banned from Twitter, his personal account has permanently been suspended with over 80 million followers. He is also restricted with Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and a lot of others planning to do the same. Uh, he registered on Parler and that was removed from Apple and Google store and the reasoning behind it because Parler does not believe in moderating the content and even they said they would some clearly it's not enough because uh, Apple and Google believe as far as there is social responsibility they believe that Trump could incite further violence but nevertheless so what is happening with Telegram right now the, he has over 400,000 followers on Telegram as we speak and what is an issue with Telegram? So here is the history of Telegram and they also have a new marketing campaign that started because uh, it has been announced this week that do WhatsApp, Facebook will be getting data you are, that you are using on WhatsApp and the reason behind that they're saying to market your content better. So in other words, they'll be gathering more information. So a lot of people are looking to leave WhatsApp, a lot of government agencies, Turkey, fully suspended anybody to use WhatsApp and they migrated to their own type of social media situation but this video is not about Turkey so what is the problem with Telegram and what I think about it and what are the security concerns which are quite the real so first and foremost the creator of Telegram is Pavel Durov he is a former Russian citizen and I'll explain that situation and what it is so originally he was part owner of Kontakte which is the Russian equivalent to social media platform Facebook, which is the most used around the former Soviet bloc and outside of it by anyone who speaks Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, and a lot of other Eastern languages, etc. And this is part of that. And when he sold his share, there was a conflict involved, but it wasn't disclosed what kind of conflict, and created his own Telegram. Telegram channel, and it became quite successful. However, there's the issues that are with it. It's not registered in Russia. It's registered in United Arab Emirates out of all places. The servers are there. And what is the concern with that and Pavel Durov in general? So as far as our servers are concerned, uh, United Arab Emirates have one of the stringent censorship and monitoring of the internet. Even since 2008, before internet became as prominent as it is now and more platforms, the Journalists Without Borders already called them out. There's severe censorship and monitoring going on in that country. He apparently is also a citizen of that country. However, it's not confirmed because people are also saying he has citizenship in one of the Caribbean nations, but nevertheless. So the servers are there. Yet Telegram is again another very popular tool used by Russian former Soviet bloc. And there was actual quite commotion that happened two years ago with Telegram where Russian government, Roskomnadzor, which is a governing body, banned it for a short period of time because it refused to cooperate with Russian authorities and provide the encryption keys needed to decipher messages. However, eventually they got unblocked. And it is clear the reason they got unblocked because they decided to cooperate with the Russian government. The question occurs, even though the official version for Russian government was that they're helping and providing data for users who are involved terrorist activities, drug use, and criminal activity. But nevertheless, we're talking about Russia that monitors a lot. Russia passed a lot of stringent internet laws. There's also Foreign Agent Act now too, and a lot of other factors involved. So Telegram would have to comply. And since their servers are not even in Russia, and we don't know because also this is another nuance which is interesting, because any social media operating in Russia has to have servers for the Russian users. However, how is it anyone 100% sure that it is only Russian users in that geographical location that Russia can have access to? Because with Russia, it's very questionable how that system operates within itself. And there's also new laws coming since constitutional amendments were passed last July and a lot of new laws kicked in starting January 1st and Putin signed a lot of additional laws as a result of it in December that's supposed to be kicking in by the end of this month as well. So this is that part of it. But there's also other interesting facts about the whole Telegram scenario too. And the problem is with that, that even though Pavel Durov says he does not have anything to do with Russia, he does have a lot to do with Russia as far as the channels are concerned. And like I said, nobody can operate a business in Russia without having Russian government, and especially 
this is where it gets even more interesting. Any big company that is ran in Russia has to have a proxy Russian official have a stake as a board of, of directors and a stock stack in it. And this is how it works. You cannot bypass it, even if it's not the elected officials themselves, of course, because they cannot participate in businesses as, you know, same as an invest and everything like that. But nevertheless, you can have a proxy that's affiliated with Russian officials, but everybody has to have it. Otherwise, those internet businesses are not able to run and majority of times they're infiltrated. So the information is gathered 24 seven because even to register on Russian social media right now, you need to provide a passport in your, or another valid government ID in Russia, it is a passport. And in order to be verified and the phone number has to be not a cell phone to be registered to you. And after verification is complete, that's when can you only have an account because you can't post anonymously. Yes, I know there's different ways as far as IPs are concerned and everything else, but nevertheless, this is the mainstream and Russia is very specific about monitoring all this. So this is one of the problems that we're having. Another problem with that, and this is what makes me wonder too, because Donald Trump created that account and has it on Telegram now. He's still an acting president of the United States. He has not been removed from an office. He has not been impeached, anything of that nature. And when you register for Social media where servers, let's say we go with Pavel Durov's story 100% and his servers are in United Arab Emirates. Isn't it like a security and safety concern? And also at the end of the day, as far as in Telegram originally did come from Russia. Yes, Pavel Durov left Russia, and but at the same time when he was creating that, he was in Russia. And his messenger is specifically popular with Russians because majority of Russian bloggers, if you look at their profiles, including YouTube, Instagram, they also have always alternate Telegram, please connect with me at Telegram, etc, etc. So Russians are heavily using that. And I mean, they do use WhatsApp as well, of course, for their messaging services. But nevertheless, when you have an acting US president, active president, having an account with a social media company that is a foreign one, you know, it always makes you wonder and actually worry what information could be leaked. And of course, I'm a Canadian. Therefore, for me, I just convey the information. I always voice my concerns and opinions on my videos and everything like that. And I always try to deliver straightforward content and everything included. But I would love everybody's opinions. Do you think that Donald Trump is that desperate because he needs to have social media account? It is his thing and that like a true classic want to be dictator of any sort that he needs to relate to the public and organize the masses? Do you think it's just an ego stroke? What do you think it is and why is he choosing foreign platforms? I mean, even though if he got banned, I don't understand and I'm not trying to be ageist or anything, but in his 70s, wouldn't you think that, you know, he would want to spend more time with his child who is still a minor and do other things instead of joining platforms that have questionable security and also there's also human rights violations in uh, United Arab Emirates as well. And this is not the topic of this video, of course, even though United Arab Emirates is a beautiful country. So there's a lot of, they did a lot, they evolved a lot over the years. There's a lot of things that people can do there now. It is actually more liberal and considering close neighbor of Saudi Arabia and everything like that. So I'm not saying any negative about United Arab Emirates, but nevertheless, it is also a very popular destination for Russians. But overall, what do you think about this Telegram development? Please click like, please subscribe to my channel. You can read my articles under Christina Kitova, communalnews.com. And please do. And of course, as I said, please subscribe to my channel. It is pretty new. Thanks again and have a great week coming up.